Hi little skeletons, it's Disney Queen Skelly here and I have some huge news. Hubby and I are fully vaccinated from COVID-19. I am so excited, I don't have to worry about getting that shot anymore. But I would just, but I just decided for this video to share the experience of when we got our second shot. So I just have this to say first of all, that I told Hubby to request the day off for this shot and when he asked me about the date because he was looking through like his day off request list, we had no idea what like what May 16th meant for requesting that day off. So I told him just not to worry about it and then like later we remembered it was for the vaccine. So we looked at his schedule and it actually said that he was going to be working at about 3.30 so thank God the vaccine was going to be done by then. Our appointment was actually at 2. No, no, I think it was at 1.30. 1.30 or 2. Well, we got there pretty early anyways and thank God because by the time I actually got him to work it was about 3 o'clock so he made it there on time thank God. But while we were in line, he actually fessed up and he forgot his vaccine card. Thankfully, they still allowed him to get the vaccine, just unfortunately he can't get that sticker that tells, you know, anybody that he is fully vaccinated. Because from what I've heard, some places might require you to show that so you don't have to wear a mask anymore. I have mine, but I don't know what he's going to do for himself. So while we were in line, they had us put on these special stickers that took us to a different line so that way we could go straight into the second vaccine station, get the vaccine, and then do the observation and then go home. And I actually did drive us this time because I remembered where my dad had told me to drive. And while we were in line, I was still kind of nervous because I hate needles, and I know the irony is not lost on me, I do have my tattoos, but I just hate needles in general. So while we were in line, I was getting kind of nervous. We get to the front and we don't have water bottles this time. We actually forgot to drink water and thankfully nothing bad happened to us. Like I'll get to that in a bit, but nothing bad happened to us during observation. So we got in and I noticed while we were actually in line that they increased the age limit from 16 to 12. So I thought that was great. And they also briefly brought back the Johnson & Johnson shop. But from what I heard from my family members, they actually took that away again, which kind of sucks, but I mean, Again, from what I've heard from other people, it was giving uh, people who got it the most side effects. So I'm just kind of glad, because I wanted us to get the Johnson & Johnson shot, but thank God we didn't. So we ended up getting the Pfizer, because it was still less time to wait in between to get the second shot, because it was only three weeks. So we finally get inside to get the shot, and I sit down, and they're like, okay, which arm do you want in? And I said, this one, my left arm, because I'm right arm dominant. And so I sat down and the lady was like, you know, wiping the area and she's like, you smell really good. And I was like, thank you, because I had just bought a blueberry scented hair mask from Bath and Body Works. But to hubby and to the lady who sold it to me, she said it smelled like Trix yogurt, which it really did. I used it all up already, though, because I have a lot of hair. <laughs> anyway, so I got the shot, you know, felt the same as the other one, small pin. She put the bandaid over me. I was done, ready to go. And then I got up, hubby got his shot. And the lady actually had ran out of vaccines when she got to him because I guess I was the last one and there was like really none in her tray. So she went to go get a couple more from the station over and I think they had like different shots in there. I think she was like rooting through the Johnson & Johnson ones and she finally found the Pfizer second shot. So Hubby got a shot, we got the band-aid, we did the observation, came home. Well I dropped Hubby off then came home and the only side effects that I really got from it was drowsiness like the last one and the headache which the headache was new but it wasn't that bad I just kind of took some Advil took a nap and that was it woke up ate dinner arm was sore the next day like usual I'm just glad that hubby and I are now fully vaccinated that way in case any location if they don't require you to wear masks but they ask that you maybe prove that you're fully vaccinated now I can and maybe I don't have to worry about wearing a mask that often anymore it hasn't been two weeks yet at time of recording since I got the shot. It's only been about 10 days. So within the next four days, I will be, I'll have everything in me. It'll, it'll be in full effect. I remember that day too, Harley David texted me while we were in the middle of a nap. Well, I was in the middle of my nap and asked me, how do you feel? And I was like, I feel fine. Just a headache, nothing big. But when Harley Baby got her second vaccine, she actually ended up feeling like full on body aches, which I feel bad for her, but she rested up that day. She, you know, she rested and I was pretty proud of her for that because, you know, I didn't want her running around or doing anything that would put strain on her body and make it worse. But anyways, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have gotten fully vaccinated or maybe haven't, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below and maybe what your side effects were if you got fully vaccinated. I remember Harley Baby also telling me that when her mom got her second shot, it was like she never got it. She never felt symptoms. She never had the sore arm. And I was like, lucky bitch.
Anyways, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye, little skeletons. Stay safe, and I love you guys.